Hey guys and gals, welcome back to part two of the Alpine Lodge Winter Village Collection by Lego Icons. This is set number 10325. Contains 15 out of 17 bricks. The set was provided by Lego Group for early review, and I still don't know the retail price of it. So that's what we're building, and this is what we're going to be finishing up today, which is pretty much the second story. And remember in the last installment, we did bags one through five. I could not put this set down. So, so far, we did a bunch of stuff, but I cleaned off the workbench just to work on just this portion right now. And we're going to resume on with bag six right here. So let's build it. And just for my quick summation of thoughts here, I am satisfied with the set. It only has four stickers, and for me, the build's pretty fun. Very relaxing. The only problem that I have right now is I don't know the retail price. Some say on the internet it's probably worth around $100. If it is, that's pretty good. If it's over $100, then things can get a bit pricey. Looks like we got a bunch of plates with foul. And yeah, let's get going here. I don't sound drowsy today. I actually had a good night's sleep. I think today is the 6th of September 2023. All right, let me get the page keyed up here. They say that this is a collaborative build, but I doubt it. Now you'll have to hear the gardeners once again. It's, uh, that's just how it is. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully we can finish this up. If not, I don't know. Um, haven't worked on the Michael Myers house just because I've been busy doing other things. So I guess I can start pulling out the minifigure parts and we can just start working on the the fun part of the build. So let me raise this up here and then we are going to focus today on the second floor and then we'll do a quick review and all that stuff and then that'll be the end of that. So let's get going here. Yeah, so remember in the last installment, boy, that didn't want to go down in there, doesn't it? Let me pull it over here and take a look. Because I'm literally just fighting this right here. It could be rain or shine. Matter of fact, this guy, I remember one time we had Thanksgiving here at the house, and this guy shows up and does the lawn on Thanksgiving. I've had him show up during Christmas Day. Not Christmas Eve. We're talking about Christmas Day, the 25th of, De of December. Not me. I stop work at that time. I don't want to think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so putting these plates on here, you're going to have to kind of muscle them in. Just press underneath. And once we get all that done, I mean, we got it. It's just like the the first floor we had to do the base and yeah so I think I may have solved my ABS issues partially in my car I found a bad ground connection <laughs> so that would be probably the cause of it the ABS light would keep coming on and pop the hood and found the ground wire and wasn't really getting any good solid readings. I started wiggling it around and bam, it just made a connection and started working. So now I gotta go in and move some stuff and take it out and clean that up. So that is something that I'm going to have to do. <laughs> By all means, I'm not an auto mechanic, but I am a do-it-yourselfer and Rather learn how to do something new instead of passing it off to someone else and not learn anything. Okay. 
Oh, and I dug that piece out from behind here too. So I'm hoping this is going to be wrapped up today. And I don't know when I'm going to get to the review. I've been kind of doing some other personal stuff right now. So. I'm slowly pulling out stuff for the minifigure than anything else. Looking for one more of these. And. Just trying to get a bunch of chores done around here and hey it's quiet right now I'm happy no bickering or fighting anywhere <laughs> yeah. I found some skis but I can't even pick them up I'll just use a brick and do it this way There we go. Pick them up like that. Oh, these are in uh, medium blue. I don't have any 2x3s in that color. So my goal is to get done with the reviews as fast as I can. So I can get back into working on my own personal stuff. Okay, sometimes the arrows don't quite make sense. So I think we're using, we got a bunch of these. So I think we're using those strictly for making logs. I think that's what we're doing here. I've all been trying to figure out how to make a good log cabin. Using round bricks, it kind of looks weird. You got palisade bricks. And I think this is meant to hang over like that. Yeah, so it's supposed to hang over right here. Well, looks like we got a lot of sub steps today, folks. So we'll get going on this here real quick. So you're going to need a bunch of these. I've been hoarding those up, so maybe that's a good thing because now I can build my own log cabins any way I like. Make a three bedroom, or yeah, make a three bedroom, two baths, a log cabin with a, uh, a nice country kitchen. That's going pretty far. Okay, it goes right here. So, so we got this nice old, I can't remember what that's called. Not a dovetail joint, but kind of interlocks like that. So, this may be a good idea that some of us will probably use for future builds. Probably have to expand on this one. So I'm hoping today I can probably do the review. I've been going to bed really early. So there hasn't been any bedside builds right now. So, you know, uh, my body's just it's just worn out. So it's like, okay, I get it. Time to take a breather. Must be a little window or something that goes up there. I kind of want to see how this was put together, so... That's kind of what I want to kind of see here. Alrighty. So they're using the dark orange, which is pretty cool for logs.
matter of fact, I'm going to slide this over here a bit more because I feel like I'm really reaching like a, almost about a foot and a half over the table. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to start hoarding up these type of plates with bow. Because they do look like a nice log cabin piece, huh? And that just sits right here. And amazing enough, I still see these windows in even in the mountains, too. Whenever I drive past, go into town. There we go. Got some snow on the front here. So I guess you can't open these up once the snow falls and you're stuck in there. There we go. Yeah, second floor is a bit drafty, huh? we got to fix that. Yeah, since I've been working on my truck, though, I've been running into a lot of black widow's nest in there. So I've been trying to clean those out of there. They like living in those dark engine bays for some reason, especially for a daily driver. I don't, I don't know. I have a film. We're going to still be working in that corner there. I don't have a one by three of this piece yet. You know, we're technically putting siding onto a house. But this style of brick here, this is very valuable. A lot of people look at them going, oh, I don't know what to use those for. Oh, they're good for cars. They're good for cars, but they're also good for stuff like this. Before, you had to use the, the one by bricks with the studs. And you had to stick the plate, and by the time you were done, your wall was well over two studs deep or thick. And that could be a bit of a, a bit of an eyesore. All right, we're getting really close. Yeah, I am ready for the holidays. Unfortunately, you gotta wait. <laughs> well, this is a good way to kind of pass the time is to do this. So we have bags um, six through ten. I don't know how far I'm going to get today on this one here. If I can get anywhere far, that'll be fine. But We'll see. I thought about one time is just breaking bags into um, into sessions, into videos. What if I have a bag that's only got 12 pieces? Do I just do a video on that? Not sure. So. so now we know how they do these corners here. Okay. Now it's starting to look like a log cabin, but I kind of wish they would have done more with this instead of just, you know. That would have been great for the tiny house to make it look more like a log cabin. Yeah, I keep getting approached about doing leaks. Uh, you know, I just don't understand, like... Why don't you guys just wait until the stuff's released? What's the big deal? And, of course, I guess probably to make a few extra bucks, but why? I'd rather do my own mocks. Sorry, folks, but I'm not doing that. Well, that's not it. So, obviously, the inside of the house is probably a nice pine board, and the outside's just the log parts. Okay. So it looks like we're going to be continuing the logs onto that. We 
when you want to build a Lego set like this right here, that's really good. Like, I want to build this. So, for me, it's not like I'm wasting time. Go facing inwards. Yeah, this face is inwards right here. Oh, wait a minute. I messed up here. It's kind of flimsy. What they did was is they just stick a one by one here. Careful how those go. I would I, I kind of was like, man, we're kind of misnumbered here. So you want to put a one by one here, a one by two, one by two, and then a one by one here. You can see how brittle this is right now. This is not really sturdy. So hopefully, what does that look like on the inside? Pretty, uh, pretty well finished off in there. All righty. Okay. Now we got to finish up the logs here. I think these are critical. Not only have to lap, wrap around that corner, but also these are going to be used to interlock all these joints together here. So I don't think we can just get a little careless with this area. I mean, you probably could if you want, but... That's got a nice texture to it, too. Okay. Now we got to work on this side here. We just did this right here. And I need to get me a one by four dark brown plate. I think it's just some type of little awning above the window. See, this is Kind of getting kind of mushy here. All right. And then that's it. And now... I mean, we're still on bag six, by the way. It's a lot of log pieces. I have a feeling... I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of mock builders, including myself, that are going to adopt this idea. Alright, it's supposed to go, I think, right on top of that. And... So... I'm not sure what the hole, unless we're supposed to wrap around here. Looks like that's what we're doing. Well, at least it's not a micro build like that one thing we were doing with the Harry Potter. This is more like uh, what I usually like to build is the big stuff that you can play with. This is probably meant to be portable so you can move it around. And this goes right back here. I'm not sure which way these studs are supposed to face. Okay, they're supposed to face towards the back, like that. Let me uh, raise this up a bit more there. So they're supposed to be facing like that. Looks pretty nice on the inside. Just hang some curtains up on those windows and you're all ready to go. And 
we're using this color all of a sudden here. I have a film we're going to be filling in those holes here in a second. That's what we're doing. But like I said, a lot of these sets, they have some really good building techniques that you can use. So this is a really good uh, build inspiration for that. And don't forget your 1x2s in there. Now you notice I'm working slow, I'm no big hurry. Uh, this right here, it's like when I did the Michael Myers house and I did the siding. You're, you're just off a little bit, your whole build looks kind of funny. That's why I just learn to take my time, make sure I'm doing it right. So it looks like the steps are kind of repetitive through this point right here. Oh, I found the part. For the minifigure. Yeah, we're doing the same thing here. <laughs> Probably this majority of this uh, installment here is going to be put in siding on. See how this is kind of... Boy, that's just weird. Is that not even going in all the way? There we go. I was like, man, <laughs> that log's all cracked. Okay. Another one. Okay. start putting that in there it's starting to look pretty good really good now if I lose these I'm in deep doo-doo because I don't have a lot of these pieces actually I don't have this in the color at all let alone that size except for white probably gray when I did the uh, the Lion Knight's castle Yep, kind of jiggly there. Phone is ringing. I'm not picking it up. Nobody's here to pick it up, anyways. All right, so now we gotta rack it up here and get this all done. Let's look how we just spent all that time doing around. I think that's supposed to be a bedroom. And then we gotta build some kind of little bird house. Oh wait a minute. It goes like that. I'm kinda of confused there. And it's red, the bird. You'll see in a second. What is that Woody Woodpecker, if anybody knows who he is? That right there. It's like it's a woodpecker. It's like this just attach which stud. I'm taking it's probably right here. Yeah, I doubt that bird's gonna fit in there. Alright. Losing our ski things already. Okay.
this is my style of building here. Okay, so this goes into here, right there. So we're actually building sideways. Just be very careful. You don't want your logs to come flying off the side of the house. Okay, it looks like we're building a bed here. I notice these steps kind of jump pretty quick. Even I've been getting to do like that in my building guides too. Because I'm assuming most people who build my stuff are over 18. So I'm not going to dummy down the builds, you know. So yeah, this is a bed. It is a little bedroom. It sits right in there. Let's make sure. Okay, now just to be safe, I'm going to hold under here. Just kind of press that in. And we still got some parts left. Oh, we got to put a sticker on something. Now, what do I do with the sticker sheets? I just uh, going through some parts today, trying to thin out the collection a bit because I've gotten way too many. Lego parts in my collection. So that's it right there. And I'm assuming this goes right here. And then let's take a look. And that's it. So we got to put the figure together still. Only got one sticker remaining. All right. And then we'll start putting him together. I always save the figures for lasses. I don't want to deal with them. I'll give them a happy face versus the worried face. Why? Because trust me, when you're on vacation, that's the kind of look you want to have on your face. So we don't want to. We don't want to worry about paying bills or going to work. Some people do. I know some, probably even including myself, are kind of like workaholics. But sometimes you got to take some time off. I'm trying to get these poles in his hands. I don't think I. I think I may have some ski poles. I think they're in a different color though. There you go. And. This is what we have remaining. All right, we got bag seven. Let's see what we have in here. Let's see some siding pieces. Obviously, there's more than just that one spot of the house, so or the lodge. It looks more like it. This would just be a nice little type of mountain cabin would be more like it. And your typical pieces. A lot of these pieces are in production, but some of them are in oddball colors that I don't normally have. I have a couple of these. We've been seeing these throughout the build, but not in dark orange. And I have a few of these in sand green. Remember the tiny house? I need a few of those. Okay. So it looks like now we're going to be working on right here, which is probably going to be a balcony or something. That's what we'll be focusing at now. I see a mold injection here, Lego. That's kind of sloppy. Lego, it's like you're getting sloppier at making making these parts. <laughs> There's the quality going low on them. Matter of fact, I'm. You know how we used to say reddish brown has been cracking. I've uh, been reading some stories in the Ambassador Network that there's other people reporting other colors breaking too. And if Lego's starting to slip, well, I'll just go back to vacuum tubes. And then that's my hobby. I'll just go back to that and be done with it. 
Jay, they don't make those anymore, yeah. But those tubes last longer than the Lego bricks. I think that goes here. There we go. In fact, let's just do that. It's probably just a second story. A little balcony area. This is dark brown. It's kind of kind of hard to see there. It looks almost like it's black. And I'm like, I gotta piece that in there. And we need one or two of those. And you know, this thing says batteries are included. I have yet to even see a light brick in here yet. So we'll have to find out what bag that's in. I'm looking for a dark red tile. This would have been a nice house if it was just a little bigger on the inside. I'm sure a young one would probably have some fun with it. Now, if you're a young person out there watching these videos, this is pretty much how I get my ideas of stuff like this. You don't have to have a whole lot of experience. Just read up on other building guides and video tutorials like mine and several other YouTubers. And you can probably piece together some pretty awesome builds real quick. You know, you don't have to be an expert at this. Some people say that they're professional Lego builders. You know, that's, that's on them, you know. For me, I'm not a professional. I just do this for fun. <laughs> There's a guy on YouTube. Makes all this professional... I hope that's not somebody pulling up in my driveway. You're gonna make me get up. <laughs> oh. oh, that's on the business on the other side of the street. False alarm. The easiest way, they want you to stack three of these and stick these on here. I'm gonna stick these on here as I go. The reason being is so I can press them down on a flat surface and line up all the little little log pieces. And I'm just going to set them right by the door because that's where they're going to go at anyways. You don't have to follow the instructions down to the T. Some people do. Okay, When you've been doing this as long as I have, you, know, you kind of just like, yeah, I'll do things a little differently here. So that tells me we have a window going there. Oh, now I see why they didn't do that. Because this one here only needs just one on that end. I have a film we're going to be coating the top of that there with the log. Now first, we got to put the windows in. i got to keep that draft out of there. Now, even though there's no glass in these, I always pretend that there, are, there is. Put the window in, there's no draft. I'm really surprised Lego hasn't made these with us. You know. And we're not done with that yet. Ooh, the window's a nasty sub step. Excuse me. Been hearing about all the storms and hurricanes hitting back east. I'm like, wow. Well, we don't have that out here. We just have our, right now it's just clear as a bell. When we have our storms, it's kind of exciting. But like today, it's just, this whole next 10 days will be in the, in the mid-90s. It'll be cool. That's cool for us. Um, you get up early in the morning, it's like in the 60s after now. So it's getting a lot cooler at night to about maybe 11 ish maybe 12 o'clock and you want to be in the house you don't want to be outside there we go 
Shouldn't there be something there? Did I skip something? Because there's miss we're missing something here. Let me look. Of course, it's probably the page it's stuck. We did do that. Okay, I did miss a spot. My bad. Let's pop that window out real quick. There's actually a little piece here, you know, I forgot to put in. And that happens, you know. I mean, I'm not going to censor it out for you and tell you I didn't make a mistake. I made a mistake. I'm proud of my boo-boos. Gee, all the big guys don't do that. They show how perfect it is. Yeah. That's how you get the millions of views. You script. Well, if I want to spend all that time scripting, I may as well quit my day job, which I will not do. There we go. Now we fixed that. It's like there's something missing in that corner. Well, now we know what was missing. If I was doing a speed build, you would have no clue what I did. All right, now we got to use these again here. Now it's telling me to lock all these together because we're going to have to put a tile on the side to lock it together. I like these style of bricks. So I'm going to say, if I can do the review tonight, fine. If not, I'll review it tomorrow. My notes are pretty good on this set. I don't really have, I've only had a handful of instances. I think the last time we checked, the set was like at a 9.8 or something like that, or a 9.6 that we have dropped it down. It's not bad. This is a really good build still. I just had that one incident that kind of degraded it a little bit, but... And after you get done with this, you rotate it like that. All right, let's start with this. This is kind of confusing here. We're going to put this. We'll put the small pieces in first. And I'm hearing people come home. That's not good. <laughs> and and there you go. I think we got it there. Now we forgot one piece at the top. And then it goes right here. Did I miss something? Okay, we finish it up now. You set that in there. Then you come in here. And then you put the rest of your, your logs in. Logs. I'm going to call it siding, but somebody may get mad. Put the rest of your logs in. And this is very loose. You got to be careful here. And I think the reason why I had to do that because of down here. And then there's a big piece. We can start putting these up here now. So you can see it's pretty brittle. It's not even. It's not even that sturdy. It's just. It's ready to fall apart. But we're not done with it yet. <laughs> I think once you put the top plates on here, this is not going to be like this. I think I do have some of these in the reddish brown, but you know, I guess the quiet time's over. Now we got to go inside here. And it looks like we're making a set of curtains. One set. <laughs> and then... Uh, the 
this is it's got the nice holiday colors huh it's not it's not boring or gloomy and then we're not done with the curtains yet This will give you a good idea on how to make your own curtains. You can see we're actually just making a, a custom plate here. And we'll put this right above the bed. Isn't that a nice bed area? You can go right there. I could snooze right there. Have the window slightly cracked open to hear the outside noise. Hear the lawn mowers going. There we go. Jay, you and those lawnmowers. Yeah, I swear that's all you hear out here is the lawnmowers. 24-7. And then this goes right there. Oh, it looks nice and finished off, huh? So we got that window done there. We still got one more sticker left. I bet this tile right here will get defaced. So far, though, I have to honestly say, I like this set. This is like up my alley here. You're not If you're getting this for yourself or for somebody who likes Lego, you're not going to you're not going to be you're not going to be disappointed. I don't know what the play value is yet, but obviously it's open. So you can play inside of it. Got a nice little rug by the bed. I mean, so far, it looks... In here, except for this window here, no, no curtains, you think they would have put something on that to kind of made it make it a little more finished off in there, but it's pretty well... It's pretty well completed. All right. Not sure if there's supposed to be an arch there or what. We don't know yet. But this cabin or lodge has like three floors. There's an attic loft too. So we'll get to that when we get there. And I think that's it for that one. And, yeah, there, this is a welcome mat here, but there's no sticker on it. It would have been nice if this was all hardwood in here instead of just the uh, studs. So, I don't think these are socks. I think these are meant to be footprints, like snow on their feet. So I think that's what those are there is the snow, you know, you tr track the snow into the house and your wife or significant other gets all mad at you because she or he's going to have to go ahead and clean that up again. That kind of mess. I don't see the... I thought somebody was here. Huh. Oh, they're not parking in my drive. That's for my clients only. Are sitting in the garage so okay but yeah I'm not disappointed Lego I know you're watching these I'm not disappointed at all this is a really nice oh this is a candle holder never thought about doing those backwards like that. that's probably what they're for not too bad huh that sits right there what no candle by the bed Oh, we haven't gotten that for yet. My bad. I'm sorry, Lego. I was getting all mad. All right, let's see. Where do we start with this at? Here, okay, we'll start there. I like. I know a lot of people don't like watching the furniture builds. Okay. But I'm going to be blunt honest with you. Furniture makes 
the build. All right. I built one time a house without furniture, and people said, yeah, this is nice, but I need furniture to visualize what you're trying to do. So I started putting furniture in all my builds, and I think it's this stud here. This light blue. It looks like it's white in here. So you got a little present on top of that, and it sits right there. Somebody wakes up in the morning, they got a present, but they can't open it up. We got one more little nightstand to build. But I mean, I'm not dissatisfied with this. This is not a this is not a very boring set. This is pretty fun. Especially if you live in the desert. <laughs> you know, it's hot and miserable. This will cool you down a little bit. Just pretend like that cold that fake snow is actually really cold. And there you go. Okay, now this bed's not so lonely now. It's got a little candle. So there you go. Well, that's kind of crooked. They could have done a better job designing these uh, little nightstands. I would have finished the top of that off with a tile or something. Okay, and we're almost done with bag seven. And it looks like this bag here finished up this wall and we're doing some of the furnishings now I've noticed that they're building different styles of beds in here and you know there's more than one way to build and obviously this is a child's bed it's not as long as that one there the reason why they have the studs over here is to keep the minifigures anchored why they didn't do it on this one I don't know so whoever sleeps in this bed they got a nice draft blowing through this wall here press that right down in there okay that should be it and it's like we're not doing a minifigure but let's kind of take a look at the parts we have here that's what we have remaining and so far that's what it looks like on the inside and then the outside here. If this was just one story, this would make a great little log cabin like what you see in the mountains. But that's what we've done so far, and it looks pretty good. Okay, here we have bag A. Now, yeah, I don't see any more of those log bricks. I think we're done with logs. For right now maybe and i don't know what we're building next Oops. i'm seeing some dark orange plates i have a film we're adding the third story uh, i think we build up all the mini figures i don't see any more of those and of course the very first step i gotta open up the little bag oh so bag eight does house the light brick so that's where that was hiding. So if you're looking for the brick, the light brick, it's in bag eight. All right. Remember, the first step is always the worst because I'm literally sitting here trying to fight and trying to find all the special pieces. There's a lot of big parts, and they're asking for small stuff first, so. If you want to fast forward through this, you can, or if you're building this yourself, just pre-sort the parts. What do I do when I can't find it? Well, let's start pulling out all the dark gray, because that's the color I need right now. Until we find it. I need one like this, but it's the other way around. So, yeah, that's the... Uh, price to pay to to do the Lego stuff so before we can even start we're gonna have to start pulling out everything until we find it I will need this and one of the steps requires me to put the glass in this so we will put that in there now so this must be a little furnace or something Okay, now I found it. <laughs> now we would find it eventually. Huh? Just dig through it very slowly. Uh, 
This one goes down right there. I don't know what that's supposed to be for unless it's supposed to be like that. Um, okay, we just put that on there. Okay, I gotta make two of something real quick. And... Yeah, I have to crawl in my attic when it gets cooler and readjust the TV antenna up there. <laughs> uh, there's some more stations in my area, but I can't get them unless I go up there and rotate the thing around. And Maybe 90-something outside, but up there I'm sure it's well over 100, and I don't want to fight with that. Okay, this goes in here. So you got the little furnace. Maybe that's just supposed to be like a little fireplace, but it's glassed off. Maybe it's one of those gas inserts or the electric fiber optic inserts. So it looks like bag eight is just uh, finishing up the side of uh, the chimney on this. I mean, there's a hole all the way down in there, so I don't know what we're doing here. Maybe the light brick's supposed to shine all the way through. We don't know yet. That'd be kind of cool if it did. And you can light up two fireplaces with one light brick. But I don't have a clue because, well, we haven't gone that far yet. We'll find out eventually. This unit here goes right here on that side. And then we have to make one with some 1x4s. I think the light brick is going to go here. And that's what we're doing next. <laughs> so it's a sub-step in itself. Yeah, but I think you guys and gals will probably really enjoy this one. The only way this thing's going to flat out fail and get a zero now if I just look at it and it falls apart. But it's never going to get that point because we've already built most of it. And that's pretty much what it is. And this goes right here. Pull this out here, that little thing, and then make sure it works. I have a bunch of these that are really not working. Okay. I think it takes, I think it's an L and R41 sale. Can't remember. Or 34 I can't I can't really remember what it is it's a little like a little it's like a battery it looks like one of those little round tiles <laughs> yeah. and oh it's log pieces it's like what am I missing here now we got to find more round log parts so I guess this is supposed to simulate it does that actually glow oh kind of I think that's what it is. So I think it's just look like a little wood burning stove in that second floor with, uh, by the bed. Stick the log pieces on there like that, and it goes onto here. 
with the shaft. Now, and then after the shaft, I did get somebody ask me, is it possible to change the bulbs in these? Yes, they're pretty easy. I have a, I have a bunch of dead light bricks. And I'm thinking about making my own a little electrical system from my houses and making them where they run off of AC or a DC power supply. And then I can just, you know, do that. And this just fits in here. Make sure, okay, yeah. So now you just press this down here. So see, you could see right down here on my fingers at the bottom here. Look at that. And then the one here lights up too. See there? They both work. That's really clever. So it just passes straight down. That's not a bad idea, Lego. That's a really good idea. You kind of use one light brick for two functions. Really good. I don't use light bricks all that often. But they're a cool part to have nonetheless. Pull those out of there. I'm missing a one by four. Oh, there it is. Don't forget this back here. All right. Next step. But yeah, this is a very enjoyable set. I just wish I could have built this on more better terms than doing it now. Like, I have to get it done on a deadline. But other than that, I would, uh, honestly, guys and gals, if it were up to me, I would have saved this set for the winter. Save this for a cold night and just build this. Get like a TV tray. Just lay in bed and build this set. <laughs> yeah. I have done that a few times. Um, before I started doing the whole builds on this channel, I would just take a TV tray with some lids or this. I would take this turntable and just lay in bed, watch a movie, and build with Lego parts or Lego stuff. Sometimes I'll just bring some parts and doodle and make some mocks out of it or something, you know. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff. Well, do you have to stick your finger in the chimney? Or Santa Claus have to turn on the lights for you, huh? So you have to phone Santa Claus. Okay, Santa Claus, I need to have the lights turned on. He'll get on his sleigh and come out there and do that for you. I think we're ready for the third floor here. This, uh, this step here has actually got a lot of stuff here going on. Not done yet. We still got to do a couple of arches here. Got to make two of these and set them by the door here. They got a little pass through in there. Now remember, the the bathroom's outside. You have to use the outhouse. I've never stayed in a place like that, so I have no clue. Okay, and then all right. I was wondering how they're going to tie those in up there. There we go. All right. And then 
an arch right here. And yeah, that's, that's where they want it. So it's just hanging in there like that. I mean, and then we have a tile here. Right. Yeah, see that? Kind of, kind of wiggly and jiggly. And then now we're going to have to add the floor on the top. So, don't just start pressing down like this. You can see it's not going to be sturdy. So I'm just going to hold underneath it here. And just kind of lock everything into the tubes and stuff like that. And just really make sure that's secured. We only want to do this once, folks. I don't want to do it twice. And oh, I made a mistake. Whoopsie. We'll have to peel that out. You know why? It's supposed to be pushed over like that. You're going to be tempted like I just did. There's a one by eight plate that goes in there. Or two one by fours, but still. I was looking at that thinking, uh-oh, <laughs> whoops, got to fix that right away. Well, we got it fixed now. Okay. And now we start working on the last floor. Now I'm going to have to uh, raise the tripod up here soon. And I'm kind of going off sequence here with steps. There's a lot of dark brown in here. Okay, I'm getting myself confused. <laughs> Let me be careful here. This is getting kind of kind of tricky. This goes right here. Okay. This is actually a nice color scheme for this build. There we go. Dark brown 2x4 plates. That's a color that I don't have a whole lot of there. Dark brown, I don't know what I'd use it for. It's almost close to black. What would you use that for? Oh, man, when they got nested steps, it's... <laughs> they actually have a nested step here. It's like a sub, sub, sub step. I think it goes like this. Yep. All right. So it tells me something's going to be fitting up in that area. And um, let's get a set of studs. Set those up here. Well. Oh, I was looking. I think I'm looking for a one by four. And I just need a one by two and that weird plate in there. OK, 
Okay, we're going to start right here. Upwards angular plates. I built some of my uh, log cabins in Minecraft like that too. I'll have the logs parallel with the horizon and then I'll just kind of go straight up on the top part where the roof's at to kind of give it a little bit more character. I know one of you said you were building a Hogwarts in Minecraft. I was like, cool. That'd be kind of cool to walk through. <laughs> I like those kind of builds when people would build these big massive structures on our old Minecraft server. I just like to walk through them. They trusted me even if it was a hidden base, they trusted me because I wasn't going to take anything because I'm the admin. But I would just kind of go where they were at and just kind of, I want to go through it just to see. And yeah, go through there and walk through it a little bit. Have I ever had anybody build some inappropriate stuff on my Minecraft server? Once. That's after I found out this guy was up to no good. I'm like, really, dude? Seriously? <laughs> All right. So bag eight pretty much just does the chimney and the, the third floor base. I thought maybe we had a one by six in there. No, it's actually just a set of one by threes. And then right here, one by four, and skip a set of studs and a one by two. And that's what we have remaining there for bag eight. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I need to change the camera angle. All right, so here we have bag nine, and I forgot to raise the camera up. So, warning, motion. Camera motion for those who can't take the motion too much. Remember, I'm not a professional photographer, so. I had one person a couple of weeks ago complained about it, and I'm like, dude, these are all uncut, unscripted, they're raw. And his response was, you need to be better prepared. And I was like, well. If I pre prepare myself, these would be scripted. You don't want me to script them. Well, I don't want to deal with motion sickness. And I'm thinking, and at that point after, I think I was just, I had a long week of work. I was like, and you need to consult with a physician first before watching this video. <laughs> you know. Some people just, uh, think that this is what I do for a living and yeah there we go okay now we can unbox this you can see a better view and then now we just need to finish up this top portion here I'm not sure what we're doing now I don't see anything big for the roof so I think we're just doing accessories on bag nine bags within bags so I don't know And I'm starting to get a little, these 4x4 four four frames here, like a 4x4 four four plate with a 2x2 two two cutout. I'm starting to get a few more of those. All right, now. And let's start. Let's build it. And then now we are here, and I don't know what's going to go in here. We are, I already know it's going to be like an attic, like a loft, 
but I'm not sure exactly what is going to be in third floor yet. Maybe that's where the trolls live at, huh? Sometimes these pages feel like they're really thick. I feel like I'm skipping pages in the book. Okay. And it's all browns now, pretty much. At least it's not gray or something, but it's just all one color. It gets to be kind of kind of bland. Oh, these are in dark brown. 25 degree slopes. All right, well, I'm finding the plates. And I can't find the upwards thing. Unless those are in dark brown. No, they're in reddish brown. So there's not a whole lot. Let me start pulling out reddish brown. Oh, there we go. That doesn't make sense. Of course it doesn't. It's supposed to go there. And two one by threes. I think we've already got all the minifigures done. As far as for reviewing this, I'll probably gonna review it either tonight or tomorrow. I'll just do the rough review for your uh, info if you're watching it on here. It'll be raw and cut, so you won't see something scripted and polished, heavily edited. So, yeah. It's sad, guys and guys. I gotta give those those warnings and disclaimers out. Well, Jay, I want something polished. There's plenty of YouTubers that do that. Here, I want to build. I don't want a script. Uh, okay, there, uh, this is going to be hard to see where the brick's at, so I'm going to help you out here. There's a one-by-one one that goes in here, and several one-by-twos. And then, i got to put a plate right here. There's an opening here. And two of these. Yeah, I'm ready for fall. I was outside just a few moments ago before I continue the next set of bags. And I was like, I can't wait for it to get cool. Oh, I thought there was a little room back here. There's not. This is actually just enclosed. So what's going to go in there, huh? Is that where the... The trolls hang out at. Okay, there's a one by one that goes right in that little opening there. Okay. Okay, there's two one by ones that go on top of one another in this area. These two right here. So let me mine those out. It's a lot of. It's a lot of dark colors at this point, I think, because we're doing the roof. The roof, I think, has got snow on the top, but, well, we won't know that because we're doing the attic now. And then, boy, that's uh, kind of sloppy there. Thing bad about these manuals is they take up so much space. I'm always into the printed stuff because it's easier. You don't need an iPad, but sometimes it's just better off just to have the digital guide. So if you have like stuff like this, sometimes Lego doesn't provide us with any access for it uh, for downloads. So I don't even know if there's even a building guide for this. It'd be nice if there is. I'm looking for an upwards. Let's start pulling out all the reddish brown because that's what I'm missing here.
yeah, when you're uh, pinched and you can't get, can't find a certain color, you start pulling out that common color until it shows up. It'll show up eventually, unless it's like Lily just swallowed up by a bunch of other parts. I could see this be more the log color than the uh, dark orange. There's a few cabins when I go through town that look kind of like this. Just all logs though, not the stone at the bottom. Maybe a stone footing, but that would be it. Tell you right now, this is going to be one of Lego's famous. Let's plate the roof off. Then, I need another one of those upwards things. Just keep pulling out the parts until it shows up. <laughs> yeah, it's a, this is going to be slow for a while. It's a lot of big pieces, medium pieces to some big, and I'm trying to find little bits and pieces right now, little stuff. And when it's all brown or just pretty much all the same color, it just kind of starts making the build kind of, it starts lowering the build experience a little bit. But not to say if it was dark, let's say this was bright pink and the whole build was bright pink. If you're doing the same color over and over and over again, it gets boring. What does that look like in the front? All right, so that's what we're doing there. Okay. We gotta build two of these. And yeah, these are, these, 25 degrees, I wish they bring out 18 degree slope roofing systems. I don't think Lego ever will, but like this dark brown, if you mix this up with like the reddish brown, maybe some of the dark stone gray, you could do a nice weathered wood shake roof. Give it more of a weathered look. Eventually, maybe that's a little window to look out and see who's coming up. Oh, I forgot to put two little slopes on the top.
Okay, now we're continuing with the chimney here. Chimney's kind of, just kind of weird. It's just, I don't know. And you, you still can barely press that button in there, too. I can't wait to see what this looks like. So, I gotta find some way to prop up that, that light. So when I do the tour, you can see how dark it is in there. When I do the tour there, it's going to get really dark inside, and I don't, you know, I mean, I could plug the light and sh take a look at it real quick, but I'm starting to get a little tired, not of the build, I'm just kind of want to just relax a little bit today. I did do some work in between here and stuff like that. In between, in, you're watching one contingent video. But I'm actually doing work projects in between the 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 bag builds, between the sections of the build, and yeah, I do multitask. Well, I found these, but I can't find a gray one in that color. No, don't you dare fall off. I have to get up and go pick it up. Stupid manual was trying to, trying to make me get up. Okay. And it's still humid out here. It's not too exciting, but you now. We're just about done with this set. It's going pretty smooth. This is something, like I said, I wanted to build. Okay, what is this? I don't look like it belongs with this set. First, I gotta find all the parts, the bits and pieces. As, I don't know what this is. It looks like we're building a candy cane or a barber pole. Unless it goes in here for a little switch. I bet that fits in there. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have shoved that in there. Oh, it does fit in there, huh? Well, get that out of there. We don't want to get caught with that stuck in there. We'll never get that out. Uh, nose cones. I see the tile. I don't want to move that. Because I know if I move it, I'll lose it. <laughs> You don't move it, you will lose it. Well, it's backwards here. If I move it, I'll lose it. And then it sits in here like this. I think you're supposed to do this here. Okay, and then use this right here. You can see it going off. So I guess it's meant so you can't yank it out of the top of the chimney. Although it feels kind of stiff, though. Well, this is kind of phony here. All the chimneys I see when it snows, this is... Well, unless you don't use your fireplace. But And yeah, I like these little corner pieces. I think I have a couple of them that I parted out of a set. It just kind of sits down there low, but it's meant to turn on the light. There we go. 
Maybe it needs to be loosened up a bit. Oh, I found the... Okay, God. Must be another candlestick holder. I do see a candle here. And... Yeah, we're starting to decorate the... Uh, Upstairs. So if you're a guest and you don't you don't have enough money to cough up for the the suite, what they do they'll throw you up in here into the attic without any windows. Well maybe that's your little window. You just peek out and see straight ahead. And that's it, you know. All right, now it looks like we're putting our, like a throw rug in here now. Right in this area. So there's probably something that's going to go in here. Now, how do I get that in there? My finger's too big. I think like a plate or something. Stick that down in there. <laughs> you know, I don't understand why Lego does that sometimes. We should have done that when we had it down here. And I understand they use AI for all this stuff for now, for building, writing up building guides. That's why a lot of the building guides today are kind of, you know, I'm going to just be blunt half-assed. I mean, I doubt somebody sits here and writes all these up like I do by hand. It takes a lot of time to write them up by hand. And sometimes I'll have somebody just gets a little angry with me. Why don't you have this building guide done yet? Because I'm doing it all by hand. Oh, you know, you could just put that in there and have it done automatically. Like I could, but then the quality's never good. And if I'm selling a building guide, I want to make sure it's the best quality, not something half-baked. And If I can't even follow it, I don't expect a, a builder to follow, too. This must be the, the other bed. See how we're just doing this. They show you how to make a bed. Three different ways in here. Like literally three different ways. Pretty good. And then the bed goes right in there. Yep. I know some squeezing from the bottom. I'm not going to just press right down on it and take a risk and have something cave in. All right. And now we're going to be focusing our attention to the front of this. Let's bring all this over here. That will help me see it better, <laughs> or get access to the parts. Yeah, I'm finding a bunch of these. Okay, it's like I was in a sale. I was like, really? All right. That's probably one of the very few pieces I see that's in blue in here. Well, it's Technic. I don't know what this goes to here. We'll find out eventually.
Huh. And it shows this right in here. Maybe that's meant to hang up some of the roof or something. I don't know. Kind of odd to see that in there. You're actually going to have to work behind all here now. I don't like doing this with my own building guides or even my builds. I don't like working behind parts that I can't see very well. So, I just don't like that. This lines up with this. I think this is going to be used to attach part of a roof system on here. I think that's what... Okay, you can't see out of those little windows a little bit. So I think what this is, is going to be used to attach the other roof part on that. Or as we haven't gotten to the roof yet, we don't know. I think bag 9 just does the third floor accessories, finishing up the chimney. And we do... What do they call them? Gable dens? And then this goes here. Oh, we got some color on here. Oh yeah, we don't want to forget about the present. I like these little box pieces. They're pretty cool. And then we don't want to forget this. It goes right here. And, oh, you know why? I forgot to do this. There's actually a pair of binoculars that go in there. So just set, so that's like somebody's secret stash there. Instead of, instead of the stuff we can't talk about on YouTube, we gotta, we gotta stash the binoculars. We can peek through the little holes in the roof. <laughs> So we can spy on the, the little woodpecker here. Well, we can't even see the woodpecker. Never mind. What am I saying? When I get done with this and the review, I'm going to start editing these videos right away. I think that goes there. Yeah. Yeah, if you got a winter village, there you go. I'm going to hang on to this set here for the holidays. Yeah, I do hang on to some of these sets. You know, if I part some of these out, this one here is going to be a keeper until the end of the year. Then, to the wrecking ball she will go, <laughs> and it'll be torn apart for other creations. And I think we got to do a couple more of these little truss things here. Uh, and then the last one. Just uh, goes right here, and I think that's it. We only got three pieces remaining for bag nine. So bag nine pretty much does the third floor accessories, finishing up the chimney, and then doing the face of I think they're gabled ends. All right. Bag 10 looks like it's got the parts to the roof, but there's not a whole lot of big pieces in there. I don't know if we're building a full roof or just something that just trims up the front. So, 
I guess it's as good as mine. All I do is see one big piece here. I got a bunch of six by eight plates in my collection, so I, I, can, I already got a bunch of those. If I lose that, I'd have to be pretty silly, and two, I already got a bunch anyways. Okay. Now, let's get the book. And now we got to start putting the rest of the stuff on here. So now we got to fish out all the small parts. What am I going to do? Speed this up for all the big stuff that I keep tripping over up there. And I need to make two of these. And go right on there. I mean, you could strip all this holiday stuff off and make it into a standard log cabin if you're inclined to do so. Okay. If you're inclined to do so. Right, the kitties are getting out of school soon. You gonna fix the dinner tonight? Yep, sure will. <laughs> we do every night. Okay. Now, looks like we're focusing our attention here. I'm pulling out all the the big stuff because it just seems like I can't find any of the smaller stuff with it. You do need this. Um, you notice how I'm not pressing that down. I think that goes there. Okay. Yeah, I even get some dark brown uh, one by one rounded bricks too. That's pretty cool. these scrolly things in black. Oh, okay. And we gotta put the snow on the top of the of the post. Alright, and this goes right here. Then we gotta put two more things here, like footprints coming out the door. From what I can t this is kind of crooked. You notice I'm doing that? Straighten that out. <laughs> uh, but this is just a nice playable model. It's just, uh, I want to play with it, not build it right now. I really want to just kind of explore this. So I'm finding parts, but not the ones I need here. Okay, yeah, let's start all the little accessories first. Forget about the really big pieces. Let's just do all the little, tiny little tidbits first. Like I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just going to stick this here and tap it. There we go. And that takes care of that. So I think the next couple of steps we're going to be working on the railings. And that's exactly what we're doing. we got to make eight of these. All these jumper plates are in dark brown. I don't have any of these jumper plates in this color. All right, I could use those. Well, so far we have three. We 
We've already done five so far. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm thinking about doing uh, some of the scenic sounds as an audio track in here to kind of experiment with it. So if you're listening to some birds and stuff that's recorded years ago, I want to kind of kind of just use these videos as guinea pigs. Wow. Okay, so. Use those there. I think we're putting the snow on the top of that. Yep, that's what we're doing. At least we're using these to strengthen up these corners. So everything's overlaps. If it kind of, when you're building this, and it seems kind of kind of like a crummy build, that's just because later on we're overlapping a bunch of joints. So now everything now is all straightened out. Here is kind of different. Um, they have this goes here. And then they have a tooth piece here. I guess to have the snow like it's coming down, they have a squirrel. Remember my campground when I added the squirrels and stuff in there? This is a, you, you know, I have a friend of mine who said, you need to get animal figures. It actually adds life to your builds. And it sure does. So if you ever get into Lego stuff, guys and gals, yes, animal figures are expensive. You don't need to buy 100 deer or 100 squirrel. Just buy a few of them. You know, you're not going to see 20 deer in one area unless you're really inclined to do that. Just buy a few of them. Yes, it's expensive. I've had to cough up 5 or $6 a deer. But then again, I don't have to uh, make it so bland and lifeless. I can actually add some life to the build. And that kind of thing. It's just easier to do it like that. Just add some life to the build. Because even I was like that thinking, well, why would I want to spend money on getting some some crummy old animal figures? Well, you put them in the campground, you can actually have fun, or you can put them in your house, or in you know, all sorts of stuff. And this goes actually goes right here. Okay, now if it rains or it snows, I don't have the snow going in there. All right, so now, before I do anything, let me drop these off here because I won't, I'll forget. Well, I'm dropping stuff on the floor. Uh-oh, warning, motion, motion, camera motion, warning. Okay, so we need to make two of these little brackets here. Do I get motion sickness when the camera's moving? No, I don't. Even with the vision impairment, I still don't. Now I gotta make two of these too. If I start finding the parts, I'll start popping everything out here. I'll need that later on. So now I'm trying to find all these little pegs in here. They want us to decorate in here. I guess to hide all of this nasty color. No matter how hard you try to work fast, it just doesn't work. But 
actually I'm enjoying this set, so I hope it doesn't end. Because normally something like this, this would have been broken down to three or four installments. But no, I want to, I want to build this one. <laughs> so this is, this is the one you can't put down here. And then you put these in here. What's with you guys and the wow mufflers on your cars for, huh? Especially a little Honda. I mean, I've seen wind-up toy cars that have more power than that. <laughs> and then these go in here. I'm not sure what the purpose of this is for. Something's getting attached to there. Alright, now we can start working on the roof pieces. And yes, we're going to be dealing with white again. When I was younger, even when I first got back into Lego, this was my go-to color. I had plenty. This, this is a very plentiful color. And now, I avoid it as much as I can. Just because it's just... It's just kind of a bland color. It's like building a house with white bricks. There better be other colors on there instead of just a green lawn. that dark gray and if you're not a fan of doing roofs like this I, I I'm with you there I'm not I don't care to do a uh, plate roofs but Lego uh, just doesn't have a when I was a kid they had literally kits that you can do roofs now, roof pieces are just kind of far and few. If you find a vintage roof kit or roof set or an expansion pack, you're lucky. Uh, I've seen them. I've had one when I was a kid. That was it. Okay, now we're adding all the snow to the top of the roof. Making sure I'm holding that the right way so I know which way to put the parts on. I'm taking this notch, probably fits in there to make it a little bit more seamless. So far, so good, huh? I'm not a fan of these at all, whatsoever. Alright, there's one that goes right here. Still missing a big one here. guess to give this thing like some three-dimensional snow effect on the top. Yeah, before I started doing this, I was uh, listening, jamming out to some music, mostly 80s stuff. And yeah, I kind of already missed listening to music already. Okay, there's a mistake here. Okay. Make sure... Let me get a brick separator. I don't need to be messing up my fingernails even more. I made a mistake right here. This is actually supposed to 
hang over by a stud. So that's what it's supposed to look like right there. But you're doing a lot of flipping over if you've noticed. I bet this piece now, looking at these two notches, probably goes right here in this area. done yet. We've almost blasted through half the white pieces and we hadn't even got even a chunk of this roof done yet here. Be actually done with this one now. We're still working on it here. Okay, now they're going to ask you to raise that up like that, and they're going to have you shove. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing here. Let me pull it up closer because this may be a benefit to some. You're going to need to shove this in here like this on the top of your screen there and then I'm sure that this probably flops down in here like that there we go so I guess you can open it up if you want to have access to the interior huh let me bring this up a little bit for you here so I don't think that was its intent but you could just do that if you want to have access into that. And then now, as you can see, it's pretty seamless here. Okay. Whew. <laughs> we survived through one part of the roof. We got one more piece left here of the roof to build. And that's the wrong size. We don't need that right now. So now we got to focus on the other side of that roof. I mean, plated roofs, you know, they do have a place. But for me, I'm old school. I don't like using the plated methods. And you don't have to have a bunch of custom parts to make the roof work. Uh, oh, move that over. Stick a 1x2 in there. Almost made a mistake there. <laughs> My nephew song has got the loud boombox in this car. Home. <laughs> imagine watching it, guys and gals. Imagine watching my older content years ago. And it was just me here, right? You would just hear me saying, Oh, I gotta go to bed. Next morning I'd wake up and just go to work, and that would be the end of the story. Now things have changed tremendously now. And you know, so that's what I would do, and then when I get done with work, I would just do a lot of the Lego stuff. Now my schedule's a lot more packed. Okay, then you come in here.
And this goes right here. And I think that's it. And then we do the same thing back here again. Raise this up. And I want to make sure that this notch is right out here. The yellow's facing us. So this yellow piece is always going to be towards us. And then we're just going to just plop that in there like that. I'll show you. See, like that. And now that just fits right in there. Look, that looks really good. So what they did here is not too bad. I'm not a fan of the plates, but it's not too bad. And you can always open this up like this if you want to have interior access. So I don't think that's its intent, though. Pretty seamless there. Not too bad. So it's a plated roof. It's it is what it is, and we still got a few things left here, a few few pieces left. And well, I got to show you something that's pretty cute here. Oh, we're working back down here now, right in here, the bottom of their your screen. So this goes here. Well, let's start with this first because it'll be easier to put that in there. So you can tell we're just, uh... okay, well, let's put another one of those in there until it goes in correctly, huh? Okay, two does the job. Usually three's a crowd. Okay, it tells us to go back and visit bag one. Take the tree and stick your lights on it. So, this is how I did one of my trees here. You just look at it and just do two sides at one time. I think the lights are meant to be taken off. When I do the tour of this, I'm not removing those studs. <laughs> You'll just have to use your imagination and pretend that they're removed. And then we rotate it around. Oh, it's one of those fogged ones. For the, uh, like, uh, like these little metallic ones that are opaque. All right, then we come back in here, and then we'll just look at it again like this. And yeah, on YouTube, I've noticed since it's September, I've been my feed's been getting um, a lot of recommendations for 9/11 stuff. That is so sad to even listen to those. You know all that stuff that went on. Like I said, it happened when I was in college. That was the first time I turned on the radio and there was no music playing. And this sits right in here. Oh, okay, you set it right there. It, there shows there's like that, but I think it looks better catty corner. And yeah, especially for young ones out there who are probably under the age of 20. Um, Actually, under the age of 22, or it doesn't really matter, though. Uh, they do have plenty of uh, videos on YouTube, news clips, um, audio recordings from the New York Fire Department and all that stuff. And listening to that stuff, especially today, is very creepy. That's very creepy to listen to that. I still remember when I got home, turned on the police radio... And that was the first time I ever heard that all flights were grounded. And we need sticker number one for the sign here. Two pines in. It's a two pines in, not a three pines. And putting these on here are really kind of a challenge. Yeah, I got it on there. <laughs> I don't know how I got it on there straight, but I did. But yeah, uh, especially if you're young... You don't really remember what happened. You know, someday if you got time, just sit back and listen to that. It was very scary. And I'll 
especially using a passenger jet for a weapon. This was in my dark ages of Lego. I think I was... Uh, yeah, I was in... The, I was just in starting the upper division stuff in college. The grad stuff. That's when I turned around and came back home. Matter of fact, I was I was only in this house for maybe a year. This was not supposed to be a permanent place to live anyways, but it became to be. And the sign goes down here. Yeah, but if you ever get time, listen to it. Trust me, you will not... For those who never got to experience it, I'm, you better be glad. There we go. Signs extra wiggly, so it'll flop in the wind. And that is it. And we have one of these remaining. Some must have forgot a plate somewhere, probably on the roof. One of these. I don't think it's in here. Well, we'll go back and look here. But still, uh, when I got that recommendation, it was like the uh, continuous air traffic stuff, and it was just, uh, we put that in there. It was really creepy. I guess if you ever get time, just listen to a few of the recordings. Um, okay, there was a piece that went in here. Okay, now it fills in that corner. And that's it for this build. Now we get back to some happy times. Um, this is what we have remaining right here. Now, let's set this down, and I'm going to get the floodlight here real quick, and let me give it really sharp here. This is not too bad of a build. I just wish it was complete, but it's not too bad. It's actually pretty good for what it is, and this is $100, so let me take off. That would be better. I don't even. I still have not found that tripod, so I'm gonna. I gotta order some parts for my truck, so I'm gonna get the ring light stuff too. Because if there was a ring light right here, oh, I don't need it at that bright. It would be like this. So that's that. Without that, if this was the ring light, this is what it would be like here. And of course, that's full blast. I found out putting it about 20 actually just compensated. So, that's pretty much what it is. And here's the interior. See, that's with the light taken away. And that's with the light there, you know. I can really shine that booger in there and you can see everything. But let's put it back at, let's try 30. And as you can see though, there's a lot of stuff in here. So you got a little snack bar area. Here's the check in area. You got a holiday tree, a little sitting area. Here's the fireplace, and that does work not only once, but here's this spot here. You can see that these both areas here, they light up. Obviously with the light you wouldn't be able to see it. And you do have a lot of areas here to play. There's a spot up here in the attic. Not too bad. Okay. 
So it looks like a nice model. This is a nice playable model. And 100 bucks. This is not all you get. So let's set this up here real quick here. I'm gonna do the thumbnail, so I'm not gonna care how this all gets set up here. Um, there's a lot of accessories. You got a bunch of minifigures that go with it. And uh, tent doesn't go with it. <laughs> That's for next year's campground stuff. We're missing the uh, big thing here with the uh, this right here. Yeah, we'll put this right here. Why not? We'll just put the snowmobile back here. Don't worry, when I do the thumbnail, it won't be so cluttered. There is a lot of stuff that goes with this set here. And this doesn't really have a lot of play value with it. And that doesn't go with it. <laughs> I've been going through a bunch of parts. So... Just by looking at this set, and this is just a rough tour, every, you know, this is essentially what you're getting for $100. You get the ice skating rink, just a little one, snowmobile, the tree's supposed to go in here. I would use this more for towing passengers than anything else. And the box does show it, the tree goes in there. I'm not going to mess with it. And... That's essentially what it is. Yeah, I need to I need to get that ring light because if I had that ring light right here, yeah, I'm gonna order one tonight definitely. Be a week to get it here. Lots of detail. This has got lots of detail. It's playable and it's got detail. You got the outhouse here that opens up. I don't think anybody's really gonna go in there and use that all that much, but you know. It's a start for uh, maybe a campground. The spruce trees are pretty cool. Two pines lodge, or there's three pines I see here. Those are counting these. I need. I like these. I gotta get a couple more of those. And then you have access to the interior. So everything scale for figures. Your minifigures can sit in seats. Access to all this. Second floor with two beds. You got a third bed on the top. So it looks like you can only seat up to three minifigures, light rig. Any way to keep that on, you can rig it to where it does, but I don't recommend it because batteries for these are pretty pricey. And in the attic in here too, let me shine some light up in there real quick for you. And see right here where it gets shiny all of a sudden? That's one bad thing if I had the light here. So when I do something like this, I'd have to make sure it's not facing that at all. See how it kind of got a glare there? I'm just going to have to learn how to do it. So the attic is kind of cramped. At least they decorated up these Technic bricks in here, so it's not too scary. But it looks like a truss, like, a, like what you'd see in a house. And... Overall, though, the experience on this is pretty good. So let's get right into the review with the build experience. And if you want to get yourself in the holiday spirit, this will definitely do it. And just for myself, this is like up my alley here. This is one heck of a build experience. I was supposed to do this in three to four installments. I got it done in two. Why? Because I wanted to build this. This wasn't a set that I was bored with. Despite it does have some dark colors, though, but this was a fun model. If you're really into the holiday theme or you got yourself a winter village, there you go. Really good. So build experience on this is a thumbs up for me. It's really, it's, it's pretty much point on. Build quality is pretty good. I'd say it's average. Some of these pieces feel like they were going to flake off, but for the most part, everything's pretty well secured. I'm seeing some of these log pieces here kind of just kind of coming around here. It can be picked up. This one feels a little a little heavy. Trees are pretty sturdy. Except for down here at the base. So build quality I'd say is probably average. 
above average, between average above average. Uh, play value is really good, as you can tell. We have plenty of things to do here. You got you know, what, five minifigures, two animal figures, accessories, a vehicle. Uh, fine, you want to slide in there, we'll go this way then. Fully playable interior. What can you say? It's a fully functional house or a lodge. It's just more of a house than anything else. So just imagine if you were to finish this up, which leads to mock value. If this were completely finished, let's say I were to add more onto this here. Make this into like a living room and add let me a small kitchen here and a bathroom. Put a bathroom up here, wall this in a bit more. It'd be a perfect house. It'd be a complete self-contained build. So there you go. So there's some mock value. As far as for parts, there's some good parts in here. A lot of good building strategies for these type of log pieces. So I could see this being used, this method here being used for a lot of other builds. I may be inclined to do that myself. I would need a lot of these for my style of builds. I would probably need a couple. I would have to have a big tote of those. So I, there's a lot of potential with this set. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else in here, and I'm going to be honest with you, I have nothing to knock down on this. It kept my interest, especially with the retention. I wanted to build this. I knew I was getting this set. It's like, oh, yes, I want to build it. <laughs> so, my score on this set. Um, it's pretty good. It's not going to be a 9, obviously. I'm going to be honest, I think the last time we were talking about a 9.8. Did I have anything fall off other than that? It's pretty strong except for this. I'm going to say the, the, the overall build is going to be a 9.7 in terms of that. What am I dinging off? I had a few pieces flake off and just this right here. I wish these were really locked in better. Other than that... Pretty seamless build. I just wish there was a way to kind of lock these in. If these were locked in, be, if this was locked in right here, you would not be able to lift that up. But yeah, 9.7, and I'm not dissatisfied. But I want to know what you guys and gals think of the set. For me, if you've got a winter village or you want to do something for the holidays, there you go. And for some of us, this is about as close as we're going to get to not only a lodge, but to a log cabin. I don't know anybody who has a log cabin. I do have the land for one, but not a cabin. <laughs> you know? But I think this is a very nice build. It's got a lot of detail. But let me know what you think.